Yeah, this pause follows a lengthy letter which dozens of groups and architects sent to Sacramento County individuals last week. So summed up behind me, they don't want the county wasting hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars on a jail expansion that doesn't even solve the issue laid out in the May's consent decree. This is Sacramento's main county jail, but some groups are worried it could become an almost billion dollar money pit. We as community members are really concerned that we are going to be contributing uh, tens of millions of dollars in taxpayer funds every year for the next 30 years. Decarcerate Just Sacramento's Keon Bliss is talking about a potential expansion of the county's main jail. $2,695 per square foot to expand the jail. The 2019 May's consent decree calls for Sac County to address mental and medical issues for inmates. Some groups say one answer to expand the jail with an intake health and services facility is a wrong one. I'm honored to have the privilege to deliver this letter to you all today. Dozens of organizations, including Decarcerate Sacramento, presenting the Board of Supervisors with this letter Tuesday to say why. The vast majority of the May's consent decree requirements don't even have anything to do with the structural deficiencies. It's all to do with uh, the management uh, practices and style and the cultural practices. One reason that the expansion, which includes a 16,600 foot food services area, doesn't address the decree's issues. Our community members need our access to more affordable mental health care services, affordable housing. Um, we have a staffing shortage uh, when it comes to behavioral health services. Then there is their allegation that contractor Naughton Lewis's 2022 capacity study is allocating 408 cells or 860 beds for 107 intensive outpatients. What we found was is that a lot of the study was uh, like fundamentally flawed, both in the numbers and how uh, Nocton Lewis inflated the beds uh, to in order to falsely justify uh, this expanding jail, the jail facility. The Board of Supervisors seeming to hear the contents of this letter loud and clear. Supervisor Pat Hume responded to Fox 40 in a statement saying in part, quote, we are still examining closely how to meet the requirements of the May's consent decree in order to provide a better environment and care for those currently incarcerated individuals with special needs, end quote. The news that the board put the project on pause for now, brought to you first on Fox 40 this morning. Decarcerate Sacramento's Liz Bloom telling Fox 40's Sinceri Tonsil that a third party will now be brought in to review the expansion plan. While this pause does not guarantee a full cancellation of the proposed jail expansion, this remains a significant win for our campaign. And I also did reach out to Knott and Lewis. They told me in part in a statement, we stand behind our work for Sacramento County and are committed to maintaining the highest standards of integrity and confidentiality in all aspects of our operations. We do welcome a peer review of our work by knowledgeable individuals with expertise and evidence-based practices and a deep understanding of the complex nature of achieving compliance with the Mace Consent Decree.